Following in the familiar crab steps of their legend, the Baltimore Colts came out possessing a very unfamiliar losing record. Though four weeks had produced but one victory, the Colt linebackers remained an unmatched triumvirate. Ray May, number 56, still blew in hard and fast from the right side. And number 83, Ted Hendricks, still tried to turn setbacks into headless horsemen. In the middle, Mike Curtis still read and reacted to the quarterback's eyes. But while the defense clings fast to their legendary greatness, it is an offense where the legend has withered. John Unitas probes and picks like a master, but the Colts have lost the master's touch. For Dallas, the answer to Unitas was the doomsday defense, led by tackle Jethro Pugh, number 75. Whether it was sacking Unitas or tracking down the screen man, Pugh plastered every man wearing Baltimore blue. Through five weeks now, the staunch Dallas defense has allowed but three touchdowns, and it's been their excellence that has kept alive championship dreams. The conservative cowboy offense was triggered by the quick bursts of Walt Garrison, number 32, and Calvin Hill, number 35. Hill scored the first two Dallas touchdowns, the second coming on a zone-splitting pass by quarterback Craig Morton. Only once did Baltimore penetrate the Dallas 20 but they were denied a score when Unitas illegally batted his fumble into the Cowboy end zone. Dallas won the argument and the game as Craig Morton capped the Cowboys' fourth victory in five games by finding Ronnie Sellers unattended in the end zone. For Dallas, their 21 to nothing victory was an easy stepping stone to their summit meeting this week with the Washington Redskins. <laughs>